some everyday items may actually be toxic to birds. Dr. Grattan is here with more on today's pet advice. And Dr. Grattan, what do we need to be watching out for to keep our pet birds safe? Well, certainly as uh, most people who have pet birds, they're out of their cages. They're often around in the house um, sharing our lives and, and often uh, sharing our food. And so we got to kind of keep an eye out for what gets left out that is potentially a problem for them. And, you know, the usual culprits of uh, chocolate and caffeine and simple sugars, but there's certainly some other uh, very common things that a lot of people don't think about. And um, the, one of the big ones um, would be avocados. Uh, very, very popular in, in our diets, becoming more popular, uh, but there is a compound largely in the skin skin and the pits, but it also is in the flesh, and when we're dealing with tiny little creatures, some of the cockatiels particularly are notoriously um, uh, poisoned by ingesting too much avocado, so save the guacamole for yourself. Uh, <laughs> the avocado toast should not be shared with your, with your bird. Well, how likely are birds to try and pick up some of these items? Because I was really surprised avocado, I mean, it's, it's natural. You don't expect that to, to be something that's considered toxic. Um, but, you know, dogs, cats tend to get into things, but do birds do that as well? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, they're very inquisitive little creatures. Um, they are foragers, you know, for, you know, it's what their lifestyle is in the wild. They, they are out looking for food to eat most of the day. It's kind of their, <laughs> the way they get by, and they certainly tend to do that. And a lot of birds um, eat, you know, the same thing. We have a lot of clients who's, where they put their plate down, and the bird gets a little plate of the same thing, and the birds, <laughs> they're eating with them, so. Well, that's fairly common. Okay, well, what are some of the other items that we need to be aware of? The other big category we really need to kind of watch is, are the, the, the inhaled things, the, the things that are aerosolized in the house. Birds have a very unique respiratory system. Uh, it, it is highly adapted to allow them to fly, some of them for days on end when they're migrating, um, but it also, you know, in addition to making them very light for flight, but it also makes them very, very sensitive to inhaled toxins. And some things that people really don't think about, um, we always warn that any nonstick cooking surfaces either not be used or be used very, very carefully. Teflon, the classic nonstick uh, for, for frying pans and whatnot. If those get overheated, and it's usually when they're left uh, on a, a burner that's on or some, an electrical appliance overheats or something, those release a compound that is extremely toxic to birds. They can die within minutes. Oh, they, wow. they, it is amazing how fast, and, and we do see it from time to time. Wow, and, and candles as well. That was one thing that I, I yeah. would never have thought of. Yeah, and especially this time of year where we've got poinsettias, which can be mildly toxic themselves uh, in the houses a lot of times. Don't let the birds chew on those. But, um, you know, we tend to have a lot of the candles and air fresheners and the little plug-in uh, things. And just because birds have such a unique respiratory system, and we really got to watch very carefully that we're not putting a whole lot of stuff into their air because although it may smell good to us, it's it goes into to their respiratory system and it has a much harder time getting out. Okay, so. well, Dr. Gratton, thank you for sharing that with us. Important information for people who may have some birds in their homes and part of their families. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, head over to universityvetcare.com.